Safe house. What's going on, family? Look, today I want to be able to talk to you about the three ways of how therapy can save your life. And what do I mean by save your life? I'm not necessarily talking about you going out and harming yourself, no. But I don't want you to be in a position of emotional turmoil and emotional disturbance. Because like so many of you, I grew up in a day and age where the presence of therapy was not talked about inside of the household. And that there was such a negative connotation associated with going to therapy. And why is that? Because people automatically assume if you go to therapy, if I go to therapy, I'm crazy. I don't have it all. I'm about to just, I'm about to crash out. I'm about to harm myself and everybody else that is in my life. And I just want you to know that it, that is such a negative narrative and it is completely wrong. Because when you make a decision to go to therapy, that is actually a strength. Because you're identifying a weakness that is inside of you that you need to get stronger in. I'm a person, I've dealt with depression. I've dealt with anxiety. I've dealt with suicidal thoughts. I've dealt with suicidal attempts. I've dealt with PTSD. I've dealt with all of these emotions. And it is through the grace of God that I'm here today to be able to give this video to you and be able to give this lesson to you because this is an important message. This is a very important message. And I've even started going back to therapy myself. Because even though I may be healed in a lot of areas of my life, there are certain parts of me that are still damaged. And I understand that they're still damaged. And I need the help. I need the help to be able to get through that. So I want to be able to talk about a few ways that I've identified of how therapy can be effective in your life and help save your life. And the first way, and I want you to be able to write these down, meditate on them, meditate on them, and be able to use them and understand them. The first way, it allows you to receive a different perspective outside of your own. Because believe it or not, right, your way is not the way. That's right. Your way is not the way. There's so many different ways of how to deal with trauma that we've been in. There's so many different ways to deal with the emotions and the, and the moments of depression that we feel on a day to day basis. And I want you to be able to put yourself in a position to embrace the opinion of other people that are in your life and also to be able to embrace the opinion of therapists. These are individuals that are professionally educated to help you throughout your moments of trauma. Because when you look at the when you look at the book of Proverbs, verse uh, chapter 20, verse 18, it says it's plan to see through good counsel. Don't go to war without wise advice. Plan to see through good counsel. So if you're looking to properly heal within your life, if you're looking to move out of that state of depression, that state of anxiety, that state of uh, um, suicide, you need to be able to seek professional counsel to help you so that they can give you methods that you can possibly use to help bring you out of those thoughts. God does not want you sitting in those negative thoughts. He doesn't. He doesn't want you to go into a situation hot headed. He doesn't want you to go into a situation depressed or anxious. He wants you to be able to get wisdom from other people that he's placed inside of your life to help you throughout that moment. Number two, it gives you a non-judgmental environment to be expressive in because a lot of us have a fear of being judged. I was one of those individuals as well. I did not talk to people or I did not talk to therapists because I didn't want to be judged. I was afraid of being judged. I was afraid of looking crazy to this person. But what I realized is that therapists are not judgmental. When you actually go to therapy, it is an environment for you to express all the things that you have built up within your life. All the things that you've been so reluctant to express to your family, that you've been reluctant to express to your friends. You're able to go into this environment and to just let it all out. Without fear of being judged by anyone. That is your safe place. That is, the, what, that is one of the jobs of your therapist is to create a safe environment for you to be completely expressive in. And I understand how hard it may be at times, how hard it is to trust other people outside of yourself. I was one of those people. It was hard for me to trust other people outside of myself because I did not know what they was going to do or how they may feel about me. So I get it. And when you're looking at the book of James, chapter 5, verse 16, it says this, confess your sins to one another, 
Pray for one another that you may be healed. God is the ultimate facilitator and he's facilitating an environment for us to be healed in by our conversations with other people. So that environment, so that environment that you're being expressive in with your therapist is an environment that is that is cultivated by God. God created that environment for you so that you can be expressive, so that you can be expressive to the person that you're talking to to help be healed. Yes, God is the ultimate healer, but he's also created an environment for other people to help heal us in certain situations in our lives. Number three. It helps you understand your trauma and how to heal from it. And I want to read this verbatim because this is something that I wrote down. It says a lot of times we don't know what's going on within ourselves. We don't know and understand the emotions that we're feeling at that time. All we know is that we're filled with all of these emotions. We feel with all of these emotions and it begins to damage our everyday life. See, a lot of us deal with trauma. It may be small Amounts of trauma, some may be grand amounts of trauma, but we all deal with forms of trauma within our lives. And a lot of times we don't know how to make sense of the trauma that we're going through. We don't know how to make sense of the emotions that we're feeling from those, from that trauma. But by, making a but by making a decision to go seek therapeutic help, it allows us to understand what it is that we feel and why we feel these things. Because Psalms 147 um, verse three, it says this, he heals the brokenhearted and he binds their wounds. So as I said, God is the ultimate facilitator and he facilitate environments for you to be in with people that will help you with your broken heart. Yes. He will put you in situations in your life. He will put you in environments in your life with people that is designed and designated to help you through that situation that you're going through at that present time to help you deal with that emotion, that trauma that you're dealing with. It is through seeking therapy. People, I just want y'all to understand this through seeking therapy that we're making a decision to say, you know what? This life that I live right now is not the life that I want to continuously live. I want to be able to break the generational curses. I want to be able to break the generational trauma. I want to, I be, I want to be able to break whatever negativity that may have been attached to my bloodline years before I was born. I want to be able to step outside of that because this is not the life that I want to live. And when you begin to seek therapy, you're showing your children that, hey, it is okay. Because a lot of times you won't have, you won't have it all together. That, hey, it is okay to go to therapy. It doesn't mean that you're crazy. No, it just means that you need a little bit more guidance in these situations of your life. Don't be afraid. Because right now, I know it's somebody that's on the other end of this camera that may be feeling alone. That may be sitting at their house and don't understand what it is that they're going through and why they're going through these things. They may not understand that you're dealing with trauma right now. That what you suffered as a kid is still dealing with, you know, it's still affecting you as an adult. That what you dealt with in that relationship, that what you dealt with in that relationship, yeah, that's a form of PTSD. All of the abuse that you suffered, that is a form of PTSD. And, 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 and now it's beginning to affect your everyday life to where you cannot function in the way that you need to. And I want you to know God wants you to be healed. And he has placed people in your life. He has placed people in your community that will be able to help you and guide you throughout these moments of life to a better situation of living. Don't be afraid. I want you to know that I love you. Your family loves you. And your friends love you. Y'all be safe.